Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube. And today I'm gonna to Copic color a fishing lake. So this stamp set, hilarious from Art Impressions. Oh my gosh, so cute. With these two guys sitting there catching their fish. The sentiments in here are particularly punny. So you might wanna check that out. Link in the doobly-doo to all the supplies as always. I'm gonna color these as one African-American guy and one white guy. Do a little of the human rainbow, which is my attempt at bringing some diversity to our card making coloring here on YouTube and on my blog. If you're interested in seeing more of the human rainbow, just look for that here on YouTube and you will find hopefully more than me because I've been trying to inspire more people to try it and to get some other ethnicities into our coloring by coloring different people. You can pull up pictures of people and try to match those skin tones. You can match the colors of the people you're giving the card to. Or if it's you and someone else pictured in it, then heck, make one of them look like you and one of them, one of them look like them. Why not? But I don't look like either one of these guys because I am not a middle-aged dude. <laughs> so there you go. I am just making them two guys. Anyway, I'm using my favorite YG combination for the jacket. I used to actually have one of these jackets. I was a fisher woman when I lived in Montana many, many, many moons ago. Loved to fly fish, did not fly fish in a boat. I fly fished from standing in the water in actual hip waders, which I still own. They are still in my garage. Don't know why I keep them, but you never know if you might want to wear hip waders, I guess, maybe. So I'm going to color my fish with similar colors to the, the vest that he's wearing, but I added YG03 because I wanted a little bit of brightness to him because the scene around it I want him to pop out from, but I wanted him to still be kind of that dull fishy green. Add a little bit more of that to try to blend some of those colors. And then I'm using a Copic multi-liner to create a little hook that he is jumping for because the placement of him wasn't the smartest I've ever done, shall we say. So draw a little hook, a little fly fishing, whatever. Now, I don't know if they use little flies from the boats, maybe. They probably use more of your standard lures rather than something that looks like a fly fishing little doobobby. Here I am saying doobobby after I just bragged on used to being, used to having been a fisher person. It was a long time ago. <laughs> So I don't remember much of what I did and I was not very good. I was a catch and release girl because I don't eat fish. Something about fish never really appealed to me, but I like going out in the outdoors and wading around in a river was always a lot of fun. So here I'm using the same colors for his, this guy's vest as I used for the boat. It's also the same base colors and the same ink colors as I used for the African American guy. So you can see you can get a lot of different tones from the same markers depending on how much of each color you put down. If you put down a lot of color, you'll get a lot more of that shade. So if you use the darker one, you'll get darker shades entirely. Really depends on how much of each one you use. Doing the same thing here on the boat. Same colors. And it, it also is going to pull all of them kind of together. So it's not going to be as colorful on the card because they're all of those colors are going to be united. They're not going to look disjointed and there's reasons for doing both. You may want to have them be disjointed for a particular reason. So I'm going to throw a background in here because that's the name of the video that we are creating a fishing lake, fishing, um, fishing dudes here. So I am basically trying to give myself with a very light green, some sort of horizon tree line, figure out where that's going to be. So sketching that in really lightly and then start sketching in some water. I'm using a really, really light touch. My marker is barely hitting the surface, but I'm using the side of the marker because I don't want skinny stripes. So if you're not very good at flicking, this is going to be really hard to do. But if you're a good flicker, then rock on. I'm also going right over the fishing rod because I'm going to color that in later um, because I wanted to make sure that that fishing rod didn't bleed into all of the background around it. So I put it in after when I was all finished with it. 
that color in most of like three quarters of the water I want to highlight out there on the right hand side so the Sun is going to be out that direction and color in all the stuff on the left hand side start adding in some of my darkest colors I considered going B99 that was a little too dark so B97 is my darkest shade going to give some color back here on this side and this is going to create a real atmosphere because I'm only putting it on one side not making the whole thing full of the same color just letting that color stretch out here on the left and I'll use progressively lighter markers to start carrying that color up toward the horizon out there typically your darkest colors are going to be seen closest to you and the further away they get the lighter the paler the duller that they're going to be out in the distance so I'll switch to lighter and lighter pens as I start carrying that color out toward the outside edge and it's also going to help me to create really soft waves soft ripples right around where the fishing boat is and let's see add a little bit more here right around where his line is going into the water that also is going to give me the contrast against all that white space to make that light really look like it's shining on that side light marker strokes again same thing the whole way around super super light touch with it and this did take quite a while it's sped up a good bit to try to squeeze this into a reasonable length video and now I wanted to add some really soft trees way off in the distance so that we're on a lake or a river we have a horizon out there beyond us to be able to see uh, see just a tree line and I wanted to leave my sentiment sort of being the, the thing right up front that you see there so I'm gonna make my tree line slowly go down below it I don't want it to be perfectly even so you don't want to have some sort of officially artificial weird looking tree line but I'm going to create some real distance here now by adding a little mountain just some little peaks of mountains soften them out with a really light color and I'll add of course my white pen details this is the Signo Uniball white gel pen depending on what white gel pen you use some people don't have any success with this gel pen they have other gel pens they like I am a particular lover of this particular kind of gel pen. And there we go. I'm going to add a little bit of water now. Little water, little bubbles in the water. How about that? And I decided to go back and add, before I did too much of the white, I wanted some splash for my fish so he can be jumping out of the water. And I'm adding some colorless blender dots. So making them different sizes right around the tail of him, randomly laid out there, not not like perfectly even that sort of thing you don't want them all to be the same size bubbles will be all different colors and then I'll go around some of them with the white gel pen as well put a few in front of him so it looks like he's in the midst of all of those bubbles and there we go the finished card pretty fun huh to create a whole scene for a dude card lots of fun to create a whole atmosphere around a stamp set and this one definitely inspired me so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button down below you can watch some other videos if you would like click on my face to subscribe to my channel and there's also a Copic class there if you are interested in learning more about Copic markers check it out and I will talk to you guys later have a fabulous day bye bye